Okay, YouTubers. Sorry it's been a long time since I made a vacuum review. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Kirby blower, the vacuum, shampooer, and the blower. And everything else and what all the attachments are for today. So, for follow more ado, let's get started. So, I already made a video of the cleaner head, but I'll, make, I'll do it. If you want to see that video, it's on the other video. It's on my profile. Okay, so, how you get the bag off is this, there's just this little clip right here. And this is for to use the blower of your Kirby. Take that off. See, it comes off. And then pull this off. Kind of like, like this. Now take that off. And then never leave this on when you put the hose on. And turn your belt around like a steering wheel. And now let's see the accessories. So you'll need your hose. In this, this is for your, this is called your blower tool. That's what I'm calling it. So put it down like this. Push up, and then re push the little lock button. Put that down. And now, you see these two, I don't know if you guys can really tell, those two little holes. That goes on right here. Now you should hear a click if it goes in. Like that. Now, you can use this for anything blowing leaves, your sudzo machine. So now, so that's this. Now let's see, I'll show you what I can blow. My brother left some stuff right here. So this will be perfect. Let's see how strong Kirby is. See, I can move his feet and his PJ Masks toy. I blow his remote. Whoop. Then you can kind of just. So that is pretty cool there. Now, how we take this off is we kind of twist it the other way. So twist it this way. And then how I put it on is this way. Now, what I did not show you is um, the... Um, Let's put that back on for a second. Now, you can use the accessories. Um, and then, like, your Sudzo machine right here. Now, this is for your, like, your couches, your stairs, your car. But you do have to use, like, a, um, like, um, bath towel or something like that. And then it should look like, it's kind of like a... Suds old gun like so that's what that looks like. Now a lot of people have Kirby's and a lot of people don't. The I'm not gonna pressure you to go call a Kirby vacuum shop and saying, Oh, this has been the best Kirby vacuum video I've seen on YouTube. I have been hearing so many things about it. 
I want to buy one. If you want, this video is for that. So you can get a demo demonstration how to use this machine. So that's why I make these videos. So you can get a feel of these different vacuums before you just buy them. So you know you're this getting a really good one. Now, well, I didn't mention in the last video, so that's why I'm going to mention this tool first. This is called a zip brush. Now, it zips all the hair off your carpets, like your stairs, your car mats, your car seats. Now, all this. Now, I would recommend to use this if you're going to shampoo your stairs because it kind of gets under this, the dirt. So, and then this turns into a canister, and I'll show you that, too. So, like, this spins kind of, I'll spin it for you. So, it spins like that, but way faster. Now, these, so you get um, two crevice tools um, on these. Um, they're very long. So, you get two crevice tools. Yeah, I want to say they're... I don't know how long they are to one one. Your um duster. Now this is actually made out of horse hair. So it's made out of hair. Can't tell this them. Now this is for like ceiling fans, your drapes, and all that. Um so yeah that this tool is used for a lot of things. Um, and then we got your, um, you can also use this on your carpet. Let's see if your cleaner head doesn't work or you're out of belts or you're out of roller. You need to get a new brush roller. Now this, it doesn't work as good on carpet as on your wood floors. So this is more like a wood floor tool, but you can convert it to use it on your carpet. I use it sometimes on my um, carpets because the Kirby is powerful, so you might need something like this on your little rugs, on your thin rugs, because the Kirby will, will um, suck up your little rug. Um, you guys know what this is? I, at least I've seen every vacuum have one of these. They're called an edger. Now they work good. And the reason why they have these on the Kirby is because so you can get like, you guys know like these edges. So you're not scratching nothing. Like scratching like your wood, your floors. That also does come off. And this is called your hose handle so you don't need this but it also helps if you're doing ceiling fans you put this on your end of that tool i'll show you guys how to do that this tool um onto this tool now and then you just convert this like this and then you add your two wands you kind of want this like an l shape um, sorry, I don't have a tripod. Ah. Something like this. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt to get on, but after... Kind of like that. Okay, good. And then now you can do it like your ceiling fans. Kind of like this. I don't got one. But use it kind of like this. So it's kind of like an L shape. So that's what that does. And now, this is to convert it into a Kirby canister machine. So if you want to vacuum out, like if you want to bring it in your small RV, you don't have to bring the whole vacuum in, or you're just doing your car, and you want to sit this down in your seat. It's really good for that. And I, um... I use this once in a while when I use cars, 
like in the summertime or if it rains and you still want to do your car. So that's really convenient. I use this tool a lot. Now this is my favorite attachment. It's called your it's called a head massager. Um or they call it for your shampoo. Just to get stuff up, but you can use it it's like a head massager. That's what I call it. The, there might be a different word, but it's more like a head massager or a comb. Combs your hair, relaxes, yeah. Now, this is called a upholstery tool. So, you can um, do your couches, your stairs, your cars, your RV, or anything like that. And then, this part is your part of your Sudso machine. Um, and then, I'll hook up the holes to the canister machine to show you. Now you got a 32 and a half foot cord. So, and uh, then this is for a beach ball. Um, you just put, put this on your beach ball into the blower mold. And that's what this is good for. Alright, so, and then this is called your tool caddy. Alright, let's get into the canis, into the shampooer while I have it converted and have it in pieces for the shampooer. Now, this is what your Kirby box will look like. If you have the Avalier, Centria, any Kirby you have, the box will look like this. Now, they haven't changed the box style at all. So, every box is the same. Um, this is how I like to put my shampoo. It seems to fit in better. So, that's just how I do it. Um, so, you got a belt. And you got this. And this is for your um, wood floor, so you can sham, so you kind of get it shined up, you're polished, and that's what I'm going to do today on my rug in my in my house. Um, this is for to put like your water, and then this is kind of like a measuring cup to put like your soap. This is to put your soap in. Um, yeah, and then you got. This, it, can, it, it helps. Let's put the box out of the way. This helps it put in. So, yeah. I'm going to put the Kirby together. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so you need this tool, you need this, you don't need this, but this is a converted to, to like this right here. Okay, so now put your belt right in the middle, and then spin this, kind of like your regular nozzle. Put Clip that in, put this right here, and then... Put this on like this. Yeah, just like this. And then put this on like this. And put this like um on like this. Uh and then this is a real I, I hate this little tube thing. I just really hate this design of this. Wish they went to that little holes like they did to the G4, G3. All the other ones, and then that moved um, differently when the Avalier um, went into um, business. Not saying it's a horrible thing, but it's going to be harder for people to understand. And then like this. Let me switch. It's kind of like that. Okay. And then make sure this clicks into place. Now lock this in. And then turn your belt like this. And that's what it should look like when you have it in your Kirby mode, in your shampoo mode. And that's the same way. Twist this like this. Turn the, take this little tray out. Do this like so, and then pull that, and then pull this out, and then 
pull that out and then move this. That's the same. Okay. All right. So, let's show you how to put it in. And always figure out your cord. Now, I'll show you how to do that. If you guys don't know how, I bet you guys all do, but I'm just going to show it to for kids if they don't know how. And then there's a little button, the black squishy button right here. Um, push this, and it should come out. I got to sit you guys down. Oh, shoot. And then kind of wiggle it out, and it should come out. Now, where's that tool at? And then put this clip, this tool on, onto your caddy, onto your, um, where you just clip that off. Clip, clip that on. And you need your hose, your, um, your bag back on. And then kind of like smush your bag right in the middle. And it'll give it better. And then clip. You now, what I always got think would be better is just take off your little black thing push this off let's put it back on when you're done then you get more room kind of like this yeah so you got more room and this don't forget to put it back on and now you can hook your holes on just like so And I'll show you how it runs. And push this like this. Oh, and that's going to fall. And then now you can tell it's a, a canister machine. Now I'm going to show you it running. So that's how that works. And then you and then there's a little button right here. Put your hand right through there. That comes off. Now I'm just gonna leave my just leave your bag back on. And it's the same way that little squishy button is right behind the Kirby. And then that comes off like that. And then Right before I, I forget myself to put this thing back on like this. And that goes right in this little hole there. And, and then it kind of goes right in the middle. And then it goes like this. So it is very easy to use a Kirby. And then... Clip this back on right here. Clip your bag back on right here. And then make sure your belt's on. And I'm actually going to show you how to change your belt. Now there's two clips. Right here. So, some of the older ones you need a, like a tweezers or a players. So, push that back. Reclaim this. And then, what I always do is I um, pull this out and then pull that out all the way out. I'm not going to because I only have one hand. No, because I have holding the camera on the other hand. So let's see, one, yep, and then put this on the same way you took the base plate apart. Oh. These run, they're very expensive. I'm not going to say the price because every Kirby shop is different. And then I don't want to quote you guys a price and then pressure to buy one and then that's 
I lied on the price. And then do the same on this. Put your foot right here. I put my foot right here. Right there. And then recline this. Put some like. Put that like that. And then twist that on. And then you're ready to go. And then I'll show you the green light. And then never do what I'm going to do is pull off the cord. Now you got these two little clips right here. So put that right in that little hole. Put that right through there. Um, and then put this right here. Onto there, and then figure eight. The cord is like this. Looks well, like this. It's very easy, but some you don't. Your cord will last longer, but you don't have to figure eight if you don't want. I just do because um, I see a lot of cords getting broke from not doing figure eights on the Kirby, so. This is a habit for me. Not everyone want, has to do it. It should look like this if you guys want. And that is all for the video. And this is called the Kirby Vacuum Demo. Demonstration. Alright, thanks for watching. And have a great day.